I'm going to update my fish tank screensaver now to turn it into a little bit of a game. And in this game, I'm going to have a little diver that I'm going to put up in the top left hand corner of the screen for the moment. Let's shrink him down a little bit. I'd like the diver to be controllable either by following the mouse pointer or using the arrow keys. And the object of the game is for the diver to navigate past the fish and the crab to pick up the, the key from the bottom of the ocean floor. Let's put the key just over here. Now making sure I've selected my diver, the first thing I'm going to do as previously is set up some control events for him. Um, so what I'd like him to do is when the down arrow key is pressed, we're going to move 10 steps, not forgetting to point in the direction down first of all. And let's just right mouse click and duplicate, and change that to the up arrow. Make sure it's pointing up. Let's duplicate that one and change it so the left arrow. We need to make sure it's pointing left. And one final duplication so that the right arrow is pressed, he's facing right. Hopefully, if I click my green flag, I've got my diver moving around. But what I could really do with is keeping him left and right with his orientation. So let's just change that one over. Great. Again, to make this look better, I could put some animation on here so his flippers are kicking or similar. Um, and now the crucial bit, there's nothing new that we've done so far. But what I really need to do now, let's just juggle these around a bit so we can see as many as possible on screen, is what I'd really like to do is to actually set up some collision detection using the if statement. And from the events point of view, we'll have this on the when the green flag's clicked and we're going to to see if and there's a, a, the word then after the, the little hexagon in the middle there what happens basically with this if check for something happening then do this and for the checking something happening we click on sensing and this is all based on what the diver is doing so if the diver is touching the crab what we want to do is actually Let's make him say something such as, oh no, or game over, or something like that. And then on the events, what we could really do with, sorry, on control, what we could really do with is using stop all, which stops the whole program. And if I just drag that underneath there and click the green, hopefully you're thinking right now, that's not going to work. No, nothing's happened and the reason for that is because I've only actually checked to see if it's touching the crab once. What I really need to do is actually use a forever loop and put the contents that I've just put together inside a forever loop so that it does it again and again and again. And let's see what happens now if I touch my crab. Oh no! and then the game has stopped after the two seconds of saying oh no. Now if I click the green flag again, problem, my diver dies straight away because he's hit by the crab. So what I really need to do is let's just put the dri the, drag the driver to where we want him to be. If we have a look at the coordinates of the, the, the um, diver, which is just shown just down here, look, 0, 0 is the centre of the screen. So we really want the diver to start at an x of minus 174 and a y of 161. So let's make sure we've got the um, the go to x and y command set in properly. And um, it automatically puts in where the diver is currently, which is very, very useful. So let's see what happens now. Green flag. Still haven't set the fish up yet. Need to do that in a minute or two and the key. But if I get to the crab, oh no, game over. If I click the green flag, he's back in the start position, which is just what I want. Now, just need a little bit more code for the touching the, the key. And what I'll do again with that is I'm going to use when the green flag's clicked. Um, in fact, I don't even need to do that. What I can actually do is, is with the if touching crab bit down here, rather than doing another forever loop, um, I can actually just duplicate that chunk of code. 
So I've got two if statements now nested inside the forever loop. The first one's if touching the crab, say oh no. The second one, if touching, I'm going to change it from crab to the key. And I'm going to say, well done, because I finished the game. And again, I can do that again. I can right mouse click and duplicate. I've actually duplicated two lots there, which is fine. And I've got my crab and my key. Let's change this third one down to fish two, which is saying oh no, which is wonderful. And the fourth one, fish three, fish three, which shouldn't be saying well done, but it should be saying oh no for two seconds. So let's see what happens now if we run my my project. So I've got to try and dodge past the fish. If I touch them, oh no, game over. However, if I navigate all the way to the key, being careful not to touch the crab, I get a well done and the game's over.